Okay, in this screencast, I am going to show you how to set up your PHP development environment in a cloud-based um, PHP development tool uh, hosted by Cloud9. So, first thing you do is we'll go over to uh, the Cloud9 uh, website, and that is https colon double forward slash c9.io. Okay. You go to that web page and then you're presented with this screen okay so it's the sign up screen if you already have a an account you just select the sign in so what we're going to do is we're going to create one all right so I'll select the sign up right here and I'm going to go ahead and just say my desired username is Ken Marks I will uh, select my MATC account. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a password. All right. So that's going to ask me if I'm a robot. It's got a captcha here. It's going to go ahead and see if, in fact, I am a robot or not. So we're good, and then I'm going to create my free account. All right. So it is going to go ahead and send me a verification email. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is, uh, is I'm going to go ahead and bring up my email here, and hopefully we get them to send me one. All right, there we go. All right, so it gives me a link here. Welcome to Cloud9. I'm going to just verify my email right here and go ahead and click on this. And it says, uh, now I get my account verification. I'm going to sign in. All right, and um, I'll go ahead and put my, I can, I can put either the username I selected, which was Ken Marks, or my email address. And I'm gonna go ahead and re-enter my password. And I'll say, yeah, remember my login, and then I'm gonna say sign in. And there we go, all right? So um, what we wanna do is create a new workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and select create a new workspace. <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a project name. And so um, one of the things that you need to know is it does not, well, let's do it this way, PHP. Okay, now if you use capital letters, it doesn't like that. So it says a workspace name can only have lowercase letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes. Okay, so I'll just say PHP with, um, or actually web dev with my SQL. All right, um, so I want this uh, to be a public workspace. If you create a public workspace, you can have um, you have more privileges. Private, you have less privileges. You're the only one who can see it. Um, but hey, that's okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, PHP. So this will um, basically create a workspace for us with PHP, Apache, and MySQL. And that is exactly what we want. So we'll select Create Workspace. And now it's loading our our workspace and you can go ahead and select over here so we got our little welcome screen right here and then we have a readme okay and it tells you how to get started you can open up the hello world php file follow the run instructions in the comments and you can take a look at the apache logs um, you have a, uh, actually here we have a bash shell. So this is creating for you uh, actually a, a, 
a Linux um, virtual machine for you in the cloud. So you have your own uh, Linux VM here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and bring up Hello World PHP. And it's just uh, a simple echo command that echoes Hello World from Cloud9. Okay, and so the instructions are press the Run button on the top uh, to start the web server and then click the URL. So we'll go ahead and select Run. Okay, and then we'll go back to, and we'll see right here, I got this URL is what they want me to click. So I'll click at that, and there we go. And then I can actually run it. And there we go. Hello from Cloud9. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's do something maybe a little, um, a little better. Okay, so I'm going to create a directory. And what you do here is if you have a mouse, you can right click. Uh, and then I'm going to say new folder. Now I think I'll just call this week one. Okay. So there's my folder there. And then I want to create a new file in week one. Okay, and let's call it uh, hello dot php all right so you've got um, an empty file here and so this is actually really cool because this is an editor for us so we'll go over to the week one lecture notes and then come down and select lab one and I'm just gonna grab this whole form right here so if you double click on it it'll highlight everything Type control C. We'll go back over to our development environment in Cloud9, and I will paste that in here. Okay, now this is a uh, what, what's called a self-reflecting form, if you will. Okay, and um, uh, we'll talk uh, more about that um, in um, in the coming weeks. But essentially, what you have here is you have a form. Okay, and the action calls itself here, this PHP script, okay, and um, it uh, goes ahead and sends a, a post, and what will, we, in PHP we have an array of all of the form variables that's in a super global um, array called post, okay, and one of those uh, is name. So name is one of the form variables. And so what you enter into name will get handed off to the PHP uh, code. And what's going to happen is uh, a greeting will get output with which, whichever, whatever value you enter into that name um, form box, if you, uh, if you will. Okay. So again, uh, we will go into uh, much more depth in the coming weeks. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select uh, Run Project right here, and that pops up this little um, tab down here, and I'm going to click on uh, this URL, okay? And then that gives me the index. I've got to go into week one. So week one, there's hello.php. So I select that, and I'm going to enter in my name. Say Submit. And there we go. Greetings, Ken, and welcome. Now, if I don't enter anything, I'll get nothing here. So let's take a look at that code here. And check this out. You see, I have a conditional statement here, if not empty. In other words, if only if something has been entered into uh, the name field, we'll go ahead and echo out this greeting. So that's kind of cool. So that's uh, a quick and dirty way how you can validate to make sure people uh, enter in values into the form. Okay. All right. So um, what else can I can I show you here? You can um, so we can go back over to here. Uh, this is our editor. We can select here, and uh, this is what I want to do uh, right over here. Um, so you'll see we've got um, the preferences right here. Okay, so you've got project settings. Uh, and so you can change things in your project settings. You can change things about your code editor. And the defaults 
they work really, really well. So if you want to play with this, you know, you can, um, but you, you probably, we're, we're probably going to stick to the defaults here. But, uh, you know, I encourage you to look through this. You've got um, various settings, okay, user interface, um, the way that you navigate, how you find in files, whether you see the full path and the results or not, okay, and, and various other, let's see what we got down here. Right, and we got key bindings. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that. Um, nor the plugin manager, uh, and we've got themes. So really, the default works pretty well. Okay, and then uh, when we're done here, you just select X. You know, you, uh, the X kill the tab, and there we go. So this is just a real quick tutorial on how to install uh, the Cloud9 development environment, um, create the PHP workspace and um, um, get you up and running with a little quick hello world. All right, thank you.